Hi, this is Guat, and in this video, I want to tell you about lymphocyte receptors. Here is a T cell, and here is a B cell. T cell has multiple receptors, many. B cell also has multiple receptors. And if you zoom into a T cell receptor, it's a protein complex made with multiple things. This thing, this thing, this thing. You have the alpha chain protein, beta chain protein, and you have the CD3 that put them together. Uh, and here is the B cell receptor. You have two inner bigger things called the heavy chain protein. And then you have these two smaller outer pieces called the light chain proteins to each. The alpha beta proteins complex is very similar to the tip of a beta cell. cell receptor and the tip here is called the variable region and all the things underneath it constant region same here tip here variable region and everything underneath it is the constant region B cell receptor has a bigger and deeper transmembrane domain and T cell receptor has a shorter transmembrane domain and this is why CD3 uh, comes in. If you zoom into a T cell receptor, alpha protein, beta protein, and here's the CD3, then the alpha has multiple parts, beta has multiple parts as well. That's the C part of the alpha, and this is the V part of the alpha, and that's the J part of the alpha. Beta also has a C part, V part, D part, and J part. Alpha protein comes from a alpha gene on chromosome 14, and this gene has one C sequence that becomes this C, but it has many V sequences and then many J sequences as well. One of the V will be randomly selected to be the sequence for that V part of the protein and one of the J will be selected to be the J. Same thing for the beta gene, which is on chromosome 7. This beta gene has one C, but many V's, many D's, many J's. And the C becomes this C. And A V sequence will be selected to code for that V part. D and one J sequence will be selected to become that J part. And this random selection of a V and J from the same gene to code for the alpha protein and random selection of a V, a D, a J to code for the beta protein is called the VDJ recombination. And uh, it takes place at a specific place, a specific time, only once. Marrow makes hematopoietic stem cell, which gets the thymus to commit to being the T stem cell. And this commitment comes with making of receptors, which uses the VDJ recombination process. Same thing, when a hematopoietic stem cell stay in the marrow and commit to being the B stem cell, you have to have receptor and VDG recombination kicks in to make that receptor. VDG it happens only, happens once, only once, so whatever happens after, you will always have that randomly built receptor. So if you have a T cell one with many receptors and the T cell two can also have many receptors, all of the constant here will be the same, all of the variable regions here will be the same. All of the constant regions here will be the same. All of the variable regions here will be the same. The constants here will be the same as constants here. But because of the VDG recombination that took place once early on in their development, all of the variable regions here will be same but different from the variable regions of the another T cell. Same thing happens with the B cell. Two B cells each can have multiple B cell receptors sharing the same constant region, but 
2B cells went through two separate development, each with its own VDJ recombination. That's why these 2B cells will have different variable regions.